and we're live. We had a, we're thinking of fun hypotheticals, debate questions, mm -hmm. if you will. And one that I was reading through a list and I came up with is, so we're not going back in time here, gentlemen. We're in the no, modern not... day. Yes. And something occurs where it's like, we're not doing democracy anymore. No more republic. No more states. It's just the kingdom of America, and we have to pick a king. This kind of king is going to be like any other monarch throughout history. His, his word is law. His sons will become the new king when he's gone, barring some insurrection or something. From a, 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 you know, a, This would be a really cool movie. But anyway, who, who's your, your top couple king choices? The Think Rock. Carefully. The Rock. <laughs> terrible. The Rock. What a terrible... Why? Oh, my God. The Rock would fucking come out. First of all, he's the king now. He doesn't have to do any of this PC bullshit. He doesn't have to come out and, and appease and kiss ass. No. It's time to smell what The Rock is cooking. I saw this in Idiocracy. Oh, it's a coming. <laughs> he's going to put the smack down on democracy. Oh, it'd be beautiful. It'd be beautiful. I'd love for... Look, there have been a few uh, 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 presidents throughout time. Mm -hmm. Yeah who gave amazing speeches, right? Like Kennedy was great at it. Reagan, whether you like him or not, he was a trained a actor. And when he delivered a speech, it was moving. Even, even if it wasn't your politics, The Rock blows him all the fuck away. You see him at Summer Smackdown? Please, you put that man in a cage match, give him a microphone, and he's, an, he's a verbal assassin. You know, along the those Rock. lines, I don't what see why of? Conor McGregor and Chael Sonnen can't be kings. Oh, I mean, they come were... on. They're not. No, no. They're not at the, they're not at the rocks level. That's why. Wow. Like they're good. They're not. Oh, the, I see. The rocks Kyle, lines are pre-written. The, lo the, the, the <laughs> rock has it, it's, it's a play he's putting on. He's performing. He's fucking King Lear out there. He, he's not coming out there and ad living like Connor's good off uh, off his feet. Right. Uh -huh, like uh -huh. I, I was watching him do it a minute ago. Like, you know, Habib stepped out of the press conference left. Connor's like, yeah, let him go <clears> cook <throat> himself in that sauna, that rat chicken fuck. <laughs> Let First him, move him. is to make this West Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny shit. But The Rock has his lines written for him, as any great king would, right? Like, he's got Ric Flair back there or whoever, <laughs> Ra Rowdy Roddy Piper. They're back there typing away. I really like his out. cabinet in this scenario. That's the cabinet. It's, it's <laughs> all the WWF stars, right? It's mm. those guys. Yeah, you're bringing back the old school guys. You know, I think, I think that this is an elaborate ruse for you to make sure that no kind of HGH or steroids will be illegal. Oh, it, it, le everything's illegal. legal in the rocks. Oh, please, well, we will for, take fluor for... we'll take fluoride out of the water and put the steroids in. Damn right. <laughs> We're taking Damn out right. fluoride. We're putting in creatine, and everybody's <laughs> just walking around swole. That would be great. Like the Rock would have. You ever watch those Chinese videos where they'll have like communal exercise time where there are yeah. like a million of them going like ah 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 ah, and it's like man, that's mm. kind of intimidating. That's what we'd be doing under the Rock. No fat people under the rock. He'd be keeping. There would be national cheat days where everybody got to get off work and eat rock-approved food. Yeah. Like think of the fitness. That that is a world where socialized healthcare works, my friends. Nobody's smoking. Nobody's overeating. Everybody's on the well, a lot of heart disease because of the HGH. But <laughs> <laughs> but that's a, that's a, that's a trade-off. You know, if everybody in this country started taking like large doses of steroids and cycling and just cut out the junk food. I bet heart attack rates would plummet. And skull sizes would increase I don't know. and finally you'd be normal. These <laughs> <laughs> We'd all have Joe Rogan heads. <laughs> uh, all these people who are on lots of steroids die at 50. Uh, the people See, who are on lots of steroids. Longer. See, what you like gotta most keep of... in mind, mm -hmm. a lot of those WWE, WWF stars were taking enormous doses right well, like, they're not like gonna do things halfway dozens of that's right and that's the kind of king you want you don't <laughs> want some half-ass pansy in there like oh i don't Definitely know not. i gotta appease the fuck the duke of georgia i gotta make him happy <laughs> no you want somebody coming in there he's like the duke of georgia's been talking a lot of smack we're going down below the mason dixon line and we're gonna have a cage match in atlanta that's right Ra Governor Rowdy Roddy Piper from the great state of Alabama will be there. <laughs> Governor Ric Flair from the great state of South Carolina will be there. And we are having a four-way cage match for the kingdom. <laughs> that's, the only, that's the only way power shifts in, in Kyle's nation. That's right, a cage <laughs> match. 
and it's all scripted by the king. And, and he makes always everyone wins. else the heel. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, who's going to win this time? Vince McMahon coming out, looks upset. Not, not too upset, though. He knows the rules. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> you're not fire because you're king, my liege. You know, it's, that would be, you know, I don't like your choice. But it would be a fun world for like 25 minutes as we all loaded up on HGA. Oh, it'd be fun. Hulk Hogan, for by months. the way, gets Florida. Yeah, a couple of months for sure. <laughs> yeah, Hulk Hogan gets Florida. I, I was down there where he lives one time. He's a, he, uh, I, I like Hulk Hogan. I felt bad. I don't want to go into the whole Hulk, Hulk Hogan thing. Who would you make King Taylor? There are so many people that are would make better terrible. Than the Rock. <laughs> but there are so many better than The Rock. Like, I think that based on his performance in Lord of the Rings, that. Aragorn would be an excellent king, but a rule would be that at no point could Viggo Mortensen acknowledge that he is not Aragorn. <laughs> he is the king of all men, the ruler and rightful heir to the throne of Gondor. <laughs> and he'll sit there and eat his tomatoes off of off of lead plates and slowly go insane off of his pewter, drinking his wine in, in pewter glasses. And so that's what I want. I want either Aragorn, son of Arathorn, the rightful heir to the throne of Gondor. And, Gon and this also entails changing the United States of America to Gondor. <laughs> like, uh, well, it will make the West Coast like parts of Rohan so that it'll be like a united kingdom. And we'll welcome our doors to all men who are... Uh, uh, Except Muslims. Well, but they they're they have, the orcs. Well, no, see, they don't they don't get to come in because we're we're men like Lord of the Rings men. You have to ride horses, no camel riding. Hmm. There if there was no camel, oh. you know who rode the camels in in Lord of the Rings? The Haradrim, oh, the Easterlings. Right. They weren't on the same team as Gondor, so that's not going to cut it. I don't remember yep. them at all. See, see well, they were the ones who were marching you're into more near the end uh, at the Black Gate to reinforce the uh, la the last of Sauron's forces. Regardless, I think that Aragorn <laughs> would make a good king. Uh, if I couldn't go with Aragorn. If I had to pick a different Lord of the Rings cast member, it'd be Ian McKellen, because mm -hmm. he made a lot of excellent decisions as Gandalf, and he showed that at least on screen he's willing to sacrifice himself for 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 small people and a paycheck, and <laughs> that's and that's what I think would be good. Ian McKellen, but preferably Aragorn. His honor is unmatched, and but it, like I said, stipulation if he ever acknowledges like and a, he's gay. Right, tired of walking. Oh yeah, the, well. Of Actually, the United States. Work, because then we'd have a first straight king afterward. Oh no, shit! Gay guy. He doesn't have a son. He he wouldn't. We'd have to pick a new king afterward. Well, that because that's this very is this is old for you to say he can adopt a son. No, this is old school, dude. This is bloodlines. Like this. That's what they used to do. That is bigoted of you to say. You know, you're uh, we, transporting yourself to a 14th century, you know, feudal mindset makes you a little bigoted. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't yeah. care for it. I, I say we gentrify the feudal times. <clears throat> gentrify the feudal times. Yes, bring them up. So, to, bring them up to, to, to modern standards. Come on. Okay. All right. So those are my two my two favorite ones. Another one would just be like Queen Betty White, just to see how long she would make it. Five ten minutes, based on her at the Emmys the other night. She is spent. Okay. She never can, mind. I, I was she can barely that. speak. She tried to make a joke, and it like the audience is just like pity clapping. Betty White. Like she at ninety two, she was still pretty fucking sharp, but now she's like ninety six. She's like your grandma that you just give the cookies to and see how much longer you've got to spend at the home. Now that's she a, is that's sad if it's true because it it I, true? I witnessed it recently and you just fall off a cliff. She, that's exactly what happened. Like she went from I mean at ninety two she was fucking sharp and right. this is just a couple years ago. Like like making jokes and being funny right and her voice was still good her voice has lost all of its timber she has she has lost any semblance of the ability to like be, be quick and witty and funny and even string a sentence together like she's like losing it mid-sentence and she's like ah then they asked me to do this they said i was one of the <laughs> great first women on television but i misunderstood they just meant that i was the first woman on television and the audience oh. <laughs> Wait, were there more God. oz than Haas this time <laughs> there were no oz it's a very very liberal crowd very pro betty white she could have pulled off no, taken no, no. off her oh, pants and like oh poor like oh instead of ha 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 like to show to they what's know. happening no they, yeah. they they gave her they gave her what she 
what you what they would have given her when she was nice funny. Her. She could have pulled her diaper off right there and <laughs> eaten the contents like it was brownie mix. And they just been like, oh, ho, ho, new Betty White's in town. She's gone nasty. All right. <laughs> Ooh, Betty White going blue. Is 96 too late to go dirty? You know, <laughs> <laughs> that would be the, you know, who else I would, I would put as king would be uh, Michael Richards. Ooh, shit. Yeah, Cosmo oh. Kramer. He would, like, all of his, like, public announcements, he'd, like, burst into the Oval Office. Like, <laughs> it'd already be filming. He'd, he'd burst in sliding, you know, and he'd tell you, like, when he was about to die, he'd be like, you know, and I get ready for my, my son to become king. Isosceles Kramer. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of respect for Rob Lowe. Name his son, I like his career <laughs> progression. He's gone from professional hockey player to whatever mayor of Shawnee or something in Parks and Rec, and then he eventually worked in the West Wing. I feel like he's more qualified than any of your candidates. You he's know, he never really once freed life. the free peoples of Middle Earth from oppression. No, I stand he corrected. I, I, Could he wield the shards of Narsu? I think not. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. You know, uh, he would be good if he only did it as Chris Traeger. Like, he'd be a very uplifting king. He'd be like, hey, guys. Corn crops coming in a little low. We're going to need to up that effort, guys. I know you can do it. See you later. Like, and then, like, He'd be fantastic. Is, is Chris, what is his name? This uh, is the Parks Chris, and Rec character? Uh, Travers, is that it? Tucker? Uh, I don't know. Eternal Tra optimist, always uh, you know, doesn't put anything bad in his body. Wonderful guy. Great president. Someone, Great who, who, someone with a public image like that has to be the nastiest, darkest, most evil son of a bitch in real life. Like he gets back home and there's like three Asian, like underaged whores chained up, dirty, filthy, malnourished and bloody from the beating he gave them that morning. And he's just round robin going all over him with like a not not a regular beating tool. He's got like a cat's nine tails with like the bones stuck in it, little little chinks of metal. He's digging deep. There's no way he is that nice of a human being. No one is that nice. No you know, one is that you know, you know who would be good? Would be Danny DeVito. And when he dies and you go on to the next, to his son, you have a big, just throw me in the trash ceremony. <laughs> where you're just on TV. It's like, now for the final burial, the resting place, a King DeVito. And you just throw him in the trash. It's a, <laughs> it's a nice somber moment. That'd be good. These, these are all good ideas. I was be in charge. Guy. No, Arnold. he's a real politician. We don't need any politicians oh, in the most important on, he's politician. He's the fucking position. Terminator. Okay, you've swayed me. <laughs> <laughs> it, you know, it, it, you, you can't you can't lock Arnold out. I, Arnold's got a good sense of humor. He know he he he's big into fitness. He he much like The Rock would whip the country into shape. Okay, mm -hmm. he's definitely pro uh, testosterone. All mm -hmm. right, he's gonna be all right adding a little juice to the mix, if you know what I mean. And he's 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 not born here. But which is why he can't run for president. But I, I see no. Uh, I, I've read the documents here, the, and, and I see no reason why he couldn't become king. You know, I've. You have to be born in. Well, actually, no. If he's the king, he can make whatever rules he wants. Yeah. 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 You must be a bodybuilder from Austria. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh, I'm the only one who's qualified to suck, to suck everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Must also have made five hit eighties movies. <laughs> <laughs> Minimum. <laughs> I fucking love Schwarzenegger. I'd probably vote Schwartz for Schwarzenegger for just about anything, regardless of his qualifications. He's a respectable guy. I liked when he fucked his maid. I had no problem when he fucked his maid. All right. You know what that shows me? All right. That maid. Look, go look at a picture of that maid, okay? Arnold Schwarzenegger could have gotten any piece of ass he wanted. He certainly could have afforded like afforded like a top top shelf hooker and, right. and, and and been completely anonymous with that. He must have been so hard up to 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 go after that maid, right? There had to be something that happened because I mean his wife's no no pushover either. She's but Maria Shriver. I mean she she weighs thirteen pounds, but she was very pretty for a while. I think she cut him off. I think that she had cut. The, the, the governator off for whatever reason, or maybe she was just for whatever reason unable to satisfy his needs. And and one day he was just in there pumping iron and and that 65 year old heavy oh, set Mexican maid Whore. just staggered past the doorway. I wanted on her one gimpy leg and he was just like, I have to have this 
Come here. Let me show you how to do. Let me show you how to do the the rip and tear. Yes, come. <laughs> Fuck, the rip I, I, and tear. <laughs> what are we ripping and tearing? <laughs> well, he's showing our weightlifting moves first. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I thought he was going to show her squats or something, but the rip and tears. <laughs> no, that was yesterday. No, he's I, it's something. I, I'd love to hear him like talk about it. Like he's made fun of it before. He's he's been self-deprecating about it before, hmm. but he's never been like, "This is what happened." He's Maybe never really opened me up, up about it. Yeah. I hadn't blown my load in, in weeks, Howard. Mm. I had a pump, and, and the pump is like coming. That, that it was turns so out the pump is not like coming. <laughs> <laughs> my, my cock was so vascular. It was mm. about to explode. <laughs> I just had to do it. Come on. I, I, there's got to be an explanation. Have you seen the kid that they produced? Yeah, he's the one who seems to have gotten the muscle building genes. He looks like he's he would be the king of the Home Depot parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> you think you and your friend happen in the back of this truck? No. <laughs> Mike was taking his job. <laughs> he's just got those fucking Superman Austrian genes, and they are pumping through him. Like, like I don't think he works out. He's just... He's just built that way. He's already built like a like like he looks like he could be like a a, a high school athlete. I know I haven't seen him in years. He's probably twenty five. He has or the makings of a varsity athlete. He has the makings of a varsity yeah. athlete, as Junior Soprano would say. He he could do it. Hmm. See, like you'd have to be a real douche of a kid for your dad to be Arnold Schwarzenegger and you not to get into lifting. What? Like I don't... like like you. Number one, you're always going to be compared to him. Yes. And you're never going to be as impressive. Right. Like 100 you if you go to the moon, if you land on the moon, still not enough. They will tell you you only got it done because your dad was Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, you had all the political pull, man. It's yeah. like well, I've trained my whole life. It's like shut <laughs> up, you didn't make movies, idiot. You're not even jacked. Like like he needs to get jacked with his dad so he can carry on that legacy. Because otherwise people are going to be like that's like the first thought and you see a son of Arnold Schwarzenegger who's thin and like beans, bean pole looking is like, really? You know, like a normal person, you go, oh, that person's kind of, you know, thin. That's fine. Acceptable. But Arnold's kid, you definitely expect a little more. I'm talking about his kids with his wife, Maria Shriver, I guess Kyle said her name was. Not, uh, not the other kid. Yeah, I don't imagine any of the Kennedys being really good in bed. Maybe. Yeah, you know, JFK was pretty. The, the pretty rumor was JFK. Positive. Uh, the rumor was I JFK heard Ted was Kennedy was quick. to die for. Because <laughs> <laughs> he murdered that lady. It wasn't yeah. murder. It was just the homicidal oh, neglect. Yeah. You know, I, uh, <laughs> I forgot I in my car and uh, I drove into the lake. What can I say? No. We've been uh, hanging movie. out all night and then I forgot we were. Who when amongst us running. hasn't gotten drunk, driven off oh, a yeah. bridge and left your partner in the front seat? Well, I hear that Ted has been off the booze now for seven or eight years. So that's good fantastic. for him. Fantastic. Good for him. Mm. That's See, that's a joke because Ted's been dead for seven years. Oh, eight. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you know. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're not explaining it to me. Yeah, no, it's for the rest yeah. of the audience. It's, it's for them. Uh. Yeah. That, I wonder, uh, you know, when you hear like celebrities like, oh, I got sober at age, you know, 41 or something. I wonder what like the latest anybody's ever bragged about getting sober. Mm. You know, like, has there ever been someone like who's 82 like a you know Rob Reiner age guy who's like and I'm getting I'm finally sober, and it's like, well you at this point you may as well keep trucking friend. Yeah, like, the damage the it's damage is done for you. I, I, uh, I mean I've covered so many times this idea that you, if you live a terrible life to 82 and then it catches up for you and you die at 82 and a half, maybe that just worked out for you. 82 is not a bad age. That's older than oh we didn't even get your king. What did we? Oh uh, we no. did Rob Lowe. Um. Oh. Yeah, no one liked my choice. I don't know. Nah, what a pussy that guy. I don't do pop culture as well as you guys. He's such a pussy, though. Like, like he can't rule a fucking continent with an iron fist. By the way, he's the king of North America. I, I'm calling it right now. We we have <laughs> oh, kings. Oh, Canada's for not going to put up a fight. No, not at all. <laughs> it, we, and that's why the Schwarzenegger choice is so good, right? He, he the Mexican, he oh, likes us very much. You, you look at look at the queen. Hasta la vista. <laughs> <laughs> Hasta la vista. I said it wrong. We'd build a dope ass wall around the whole nation. And it wouldn't be like a newfangled, like the walls that we're seeing like prototypes of. 
in on Mexico, like a new style wall, like the one the Israel has around it. No, it'd be old style, like brick, medieval looking. It's it'd be very aesthetic. It would tie the whole nation together, remind us at all times that we are lessers and He is greater. We should and just, the Lord greater than. If we have all of North America, wouldn't the Panama Canal just serve as a wall? We can make one side a few feet taller, and it's a wall. No, we're not. We're not taking Mexico. No, we're taking Mexico. No, uh, there's some disagreement on this topic, Taylor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's we're taking all king. of all I get to decide of I'm going king. all the way down, take Panama, and uh, right. and then the wall gets very easy to implement. That's you know right. what? Now now this is you know, I you know what? The problem was I wasn't thinking big enough right. <laughs> with just Canada and the US, a wall around just those two. Canada, you know, why are you putting a wall around the ocean? <laughs> because Woody, it has to complete. It has to be keep a complete Russians project. Out. It has to look good because you this is going to be the like fucking Russians out. That's why you got to keep the Asians and the would, and the would, Eurasians out. the Atlantic out. Ocean or the Pacific Ocean do that a little bit? No, they fucking connect. It's like, like all the way up there. Like like uh, Alaska is just barely not touching Russia. It's they're right there. If they can cross you always heard that Sarah Palin ocean. Talking about. Yeah, it, but if you can cross the ocean, probably a, you're taking a plane anyway. Maybe they could just hop, skip, and jump over. No, nah, that's not actually true. Yeah. Oh. On cold days, it is. I, I, I really don't think so. Road. No, no, that's no, not, a, it's <laughs> not very far at all. It's not. They could catapult. You know, it's where it's very medieval, they're, cold. They'll though. be catapulting Slavs over into Alaska. But It'd I, be a whole thing. I, 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 I really don't think so. <laughs> a trebuchet, maybe. Okay, okay I, I'll you give win. you that. You win. Yeah. What would our? What would the? What would the kingdom of America's uh, mascot? Like what would be on? It's what would hard. be our our sigil as a nation? Mm. It's hard to and beat the fucking eagle, man. Really, I don't know about good, the, eagle. Like the eagle. In some ways, he's cool because he's kind of an athletic bird of prey. In other words, he's just like a dirty scavenger. Is he that much different than a vulture? I, it's not about how they live their lives. That's what they look like, just yeah, like just Rob Lowe. Cool ones. Like maybe like we get a, a cool, nah, not a snake. But maybe like a couple snakes. If and we then had like a tiger, a bear in the I'd middle. like tiger. Tigers are badass. We don't kill. have any tigers here. Well, I'm we will think after of... I'm king. <laughs> we're, we're stealing rule one. We're build a, build a wall. Steal every tiger. So it's really a big animal preserve oh, okay. we're putting together here. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be mayhem. They're gonna be like <laughs> King Aragorn. There is no ring. And I don't know why you've decreed we almost address you in this voice. <laughs> He's like, silence, worm tongue. We are going for the ring. <laughs> yeah, if we had we ti- Does America have anything like tigers? I mean, we have bears, but bears are just like the fat chicks of the animal kingdom. You know what? We're uh-huh. going to say, we're going to use our, our flag as a big fuck you to the rest of the world. We're going to see what animals the aggregate of the rest of the world has, and we're going to implement all of them. I figured There's it gonna out. There's going to be a lion head. There's going to be two dragons. There will be serpents in the corners, eagles at the top, <laughs> a large bear on both sides grimacing at you. And then, and then like, what, what other animals do, people, do, do countries put on their flags? Tigers? If I'm king, if I'm king, there's one animal. It's absolutely badass. Perhaps the greatest predator in Earth history, the shark. It would be put, okay, put a shark on mine, too. <laughs> <laughs> I wish there was a symbol for like the everlasting sun that we could ah, use. Ah, like a, a ri- like a rising sun a kind sun, of thing. Maybe just no, a that's, yellow that's, circle. Not, no, I wish there was something symbolic of that. How about Wait, just a is crucifix? This, a Nazi joke? this is a swastika joke. Uh, this is a swastika joke, and I was going to keep going until someone got it, <laughs> no matter how long that took. <laughs> we also should steal things from the Buddhists and Hindus and then Sinta. ruin it forever. Or Hitler's like, what's like a really cool symbol? That's pretty angular and intense. I'm stealing it. <laughs> and some guy who had like gotten that tattoo in like 1932 oh, in the U.S. Shit. and Georgia, he's like, yeah, means fucking unity forever and shit. And then like as soon as that broke, he's like, goof. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh shit, Awkward. just make, 